everyone that rarely gets sick, what is your secret? Story one, I swear by always washing my hands right when I get home. Like, the second I walk through the door, I head straight to the sink. Most people don't think about all the stuff they touch when they're outdoor handles, phones, money. I just make it a habit and I feel like it kept me from catching a lot of stuff. Simple but super effective. Story two. Growing up on a farm and generally being exposed to lots of germs when I was young. The same virus that lays out my husband and kids makes me cough once. Story three. Foremost in 95 mask in crowds and indoors. Wash hands too, but that does absolutely against airborne pathogens. Get annual flu and biannual COVID vaccines. Sleep, eat well, exercise. Genetics in youth only work up until an unlucky encounter with a damaging virus that can leave your immune system struggling for years to come, if not full-blown ME-CFs or disability. Many of us were young and healthy, with no pre-existing conditions until a flu or COVID changed our lives. So try to avoid it via the steps above. The immune system is not like a muscle that you have to work out. That's misinformation. Story 4. Wash your hands. As much as possible, as long as possible, lather up your hands. Keep your hands under water for 20 seconds or longer. Go up to your elbows if you're wearing short sleeves. Completely dry your hands. Ignore the air hand dryers. Most people have zero clue on how to wash their hands. It's gross. I see it every day. Take a look below a paper towel dispenser or one of those nasty-ass air hand dryers in a public restroom. Story 5, I really don't know. My diet and lifestyle is unhealthy but my body is surprisingly always healthy. I've been actual sick only a handful of times in my entire life. I often go years in between anything. The high record is 10 years. I'm a pretty clean person, and maybe it's also genetic, but my immune system rarely fails me. Story six, lots of vitamin C, wash your hands, drink some much water, and don't be afraid to wear a mask if you know someone near you is sick and y'all have to share a space like work. I don't play about getting sick, so if someone even sneezes too many times in my direction, I'm disinfecting my surroundings and staying as far away from them as possible. Story 7. Haven't been sick since 2018. I'm careful. I keep up on vaccines, I wear a mask in crowded situations, and wash my hands a lot. I also eat a healthy diet and exercise consists of hikes and bike rides and sleep. I sleep 8 hours a night, and I like to travel. I got very sick after a plane ride back in 2005 ruining a vacation. So I started wearing N95s almost 20 years ago in crowded conditions and on planes, trains, and subways. Suddenly, I was always healthy. Doesn't mean I can't get sick, as I am maskless with friends and family, but statistics are on my side. Also, no kids. Clean air is important. Check ventilation and filtration. Clean water, clean air, clean hands. Story 8. I played and spent a lot of time on the dirt and outdoors while growing up. I eat mostly whole foods, less processed, bought from the butcher, the fishmonger, the fresh market. I always eat soup. I have an active lifestyle and exercise like four, five times a week, run and play rugby and general strength training. I don't hold grudges and finally, and be probably more important, I have nice genes for that stuff, I guess. Story 9. Married, no kids. Both work at home, wear a mask on subway, hand sanitize and wash hands probably 30 times a day. I've always played clean hand, dirty hand wherein I will perform a task, egg use the TV remote, with one hand, and then eat with the other clean hand. Never put hands near mouth. I don't kiss friends, just hug. I just never assume anything is clean ever. I don't have OCD, but I am so grossed out by germs generally. Edited to say that I am just generally a healthy person with food and exercise, so that probably helps too. Story 10. I'm convinced that some people who don't seem to get sick as frequently as others are just people who have a high pain tolerance and don't notice or attribute it to something else, like, oh, maybe I haven't been getting enough sleep, drinking enough water. Most of the time, people have to actually point out to me that I'm sick because I grew up being taught not to complain, so I've developed a high pain tolerance and the ability to just push through. No special secret. Story 11. For me, relatively low-stress work, no kids in the house, neither me nor my partner go to many places with lots of people, no fad diets but a decently large range of foods, a reasonable amount of exercise. I don't drink, I don't smoke, and I get eight hours. My record is not a single cold or flu bout for 10 years. I may have had COVID, but I was asymptomatic. Also probably a genetic factor in there too, as my dad never seemed to get sick. Story 12. Don't be a germaphobe. My husband and I both work very public-facing jobs and have a kid. Yes, wash your hands, cover your cough, etc. But don't treat every human around you like they got the plague. Expose yourself to shit and build that immune system. Story 13. I spend a whole lot of time in bars. I don't drink much, but I play pinball, which mainly happens in bars. And honestly, that's what's been best for my immune system. I didn't used to have a strong immune system, 
but the more time I spend in bars, it seems the stronger my immune system gets. If I am not in bars for a while, I suddenly start getting sick a lot easier. Kind of the same effect as playing in the dirt, strengthening your immune system, I guess. More germs in small to moderate amounts gives your immune system a lot of time to build up defenses. Story 14. Routine. I sleep pretty much the same time, not on weekends, and get up at the same time. Weekends I stay up late but get up at the same time. I sleep at least 7 HRs but I'm in bed for 8. I have a physical active job and I'm active outside work with my dogs 3-5K daily outside of work and 10-20K on the weekends. I get mine 10 zero 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 steps at work drink pretty much nothing but tea water and gatorade i don't socialize much outside of work limit the amount of hand touching and i don't touch my face with my hands anytime i feel even slightly sick i make sure to drink even more fluids and set my night alarm to 30 60 mins earlier i can't even remember the last time i was sick tbh even if i don't feel well one day by the next day i'm fine story 15 i still wipe down the handle on shopping carts after exiting a store business, I wipe my hands with Lysol wipes. I carry a small pack of wipes in my purse and a large pack in the car. I avoid people sneezing or coughing and wear a mask as needed. I also don't shake hands. A fist bump is the way to go. Story 16. Was always sick as a kid. Lived in the woods. Made dirt pies and witch soups. Played in bad weather, usually with no coat. Played in mud, went hand fishing, and spent a lot of time in the elements. I got sick at least once or twice a month. As I got older, it became less. Now, all I have is a pollen and unrelated dairy allergy. As an adult, I get sick, maybe once a year. I think being exposed to so many germs and microorganisms in the woods as a kid made my immune system a bit stronger every time I was melting with a fever or shaking with a cold flu. Story 17. For reference, I've got two school-age kids and a job with a fair amount of social contact. When I cut excess sugar and refined carbs out of my diet, I hardly ever get sick. When I do get something, it is typically very mild. When I fall off the wagon and eat standard American diet, I get sick frequently and feel like crap. Much more congestion, inflammation, etc. Just my experience, but a solid pattern I've observed over the years. Story 18. Aside from an occasional headache, I haven't been sick sick in years. Never had the flu or COVID. Didn't get chickenpox even when exposed to it as a kid. I don't have a particularly healthy lifestyle, so I have no idea why I don't get sick. My mom jokes that I must have built up my immune system by constantly biting my nails as a child, thus always having my hands in my mouth. A story 19. I have school-age kids, don't get enough sleep or exercise, and drink too much. And yet somehow neither my kids, husband, or I get sick often. And in the rare event we do, it's usually mild. What we do do right, keep stress low, practice good hygiene, get flu shots, eat pretty well, well, minimal processed stuff, and drink tons of water. I've also been told our kids have strong immune systems because we let them eat dirt when they were babies. I'm no expert, but maybe there's something to that. I cannot say any of this to people I know in real life because they would probably never speak to me again. Story 20. No kids only really go out to grocery shop or get booze. Even when I lived with my mom who would go out, I got my dad's immune system, so while I didn't get sick much if I did, it was a ride. Most things would knock me out for at least a day if I got more than sniffles. Part of me does wonder if being allowed to eat dirt and bugs as a kid contributed to my immune system. Story 21. I used to get sick a lot, but since starting hand sanitizer 20 years ago, I rarely get sick. Long before COVID, I've refused to touch much in public and always sanitize my hands soon as I leave somewhere. Oh, if someone is coughing, I'll hold my breath and haul ass away from them, lol. Also, if I start feeling something coming, I take lots of vitamin C and usually don't get sick. Story 22. Get dirty a lot. Exposed to dirt, mud, grass, and weird shit since I was really young. Worked dirty jobs. Like ones that involve just being in clouds of dust. I got sick a decent amount when I was little, with colds and the flu. But now I haven't even had a cold in three years. I'm also immune to wasp and hornet venom, but that's another story. Story 23. I don't do anything special and feel I'm fairly average. But I do have a theory. I think it's probably my age, born in the 60s, and how I was raised. I have three siblings and I'm the oldest. If one of us got sick, my parents had us sleeping in the same bed, so we all got sick at the same time to get it over with. Colds, flu, mumps, chicken pox are some of the illnesses I remember. We also didn't have any electronics, so we were always outside. We were constantly playing in lakes and rivers and small creeks or out in the forest. We ate wild fruit and berries and a lot of things we probably shouldn't have eaten. We played with birds, rodents, crayfish, frogs, all kinds of stuff. Back then, we didn't have hardly any processed food either. There was Swanson and maybe a couple of other brands. But processed food just wasn't a thing. My mother always cooked with whole ingredients and very rarely used anything out of a package. I'm pretty sure my whole early life experiences formed a pretty solid immune system. Story 24. 
I have COVID right now for the first time. Before being sick with this, I remember having a cold about 10 years ago and had influenza 15 years ago. I used to nanny and babysit starting around age 11. It seems I was always sick for a lot of years, so I must have developed immunity to some viruses. Other than that, I'm really conscious about washing my hands and not toughing my face. I go COVID from a coworker whose desk faces mine eight hours a day, so it was inevitable. I've read getting cold and influenza is actually good for our immune systems in the long run. Story 25. I always get at least eight hours of sleep and I'm very aware of where my hands have been so I wash them often and avoid touching my face or food unless I'm certain they are clean. For example, I bought a snack at the gas station but was careful to eat it while only touching the wrapper because I had also pumped gas. I also don't mess around with cross-contamination when cooking. While I don't always wash my vegetables as long as they say you should, I am very careful about how I handle meat. I also mask when folks around me seem ill. Even if it seems extra, I'm pregnant so I'm already super uncomfortable. I don't want to be pregnant and ill. I haven't been sick in two years and even that was COVID from a concert. Not much hand washing could have done about that. Story 26. Honestly think I was born with a genuinely cracked immune system. I worked in surgery for two years during peak COVID times. Didn't get sick once. To this day I have yet to contract COVID and even ignoring that. I haven't been out sick from work in four years. Nor did I ever miss a day of school due to being sick since elementary. I do nothing special. I was born with plenty of other debuffs. I'm not overly hygienic or a germaphobe. I've always worked in close contact with other people, often with sick or immunosuppressed people, just an iron immune system, I guess. Story 27. I think the secret is often having blessed genes. I'm single and have no kids and don't interact with them. Mask on public transit slash airplane slash in crowded indoor spaces. Wash my hands often. Touch my face seldom. Eat healthy exercise, and get enough sleep more often than not. I get sick 8-10x per year, largely because I suffer from an immunodeficiency. Meanwhile, I know people who eat like crap, never exercise, get four hours of sleep per night, are chronically stressed, work 80-hour weeks, have five children, and never mask, and they get sick like once every two, three years. Life ain't always fair. Story 28, I just want to say that I'm not 100% certain of all the factors behind this, but here's my reasoning. Before I went to high school, I rarely ever got sick. After I started HS, that's when my workload really became difficult and stressful to manage. This resulted in me working all night on assignments. My length and quality of sleep really declined and has been like that up until now. That's also when I started getting sick more often. Story 29. I hadn't gotten physically ill for almost two decades and then got COVID. Now I'm sick two to three times a year. Prior to that, though, it was a combination of genetics and good, old-fashioned, clean living. No alcohol, plenty of rest and water, regular exercise, and being surrounded by a loving family. I only remember three times in the last 40 years that my dad has been sick. Story 30. Wash your hands properly and often. I'm amazed in washrooms how poorly people wash their hands. A quick spritz doesn't do a while lot, and you're not just washing pecker germs off. You're washing all the other germs you've picked up since the last time you washed your hands, too. In the kitchen making dinner, wash very well before starting. Then rinse a wash in between ingredients, especially meats. Wash thoroughly again before eating. Story 31. Eight hours sleep, not negotiable. Wash hands frequently. Shower every day. Keep a clean house and good hygiene in general. I'm not a health nut. I'm a little overweight, 30 pounds. I could eat better, but I eat well and don't miss meals. Drink lots of water. Don't smoke. Rarely drink. When I had kids in the house, I got sick, common cold, exactly once a year. Now the kids are moved out and I rarely get sick. I haven't had a flu or stomach illness in decades and have never contracted COVID. I get a flu shot every year as well as a COVID booster. Keeping those fingers crossed as I get older. Story 32. No one's going to like this, but I don't wash my hands very often and I'm not afraid of everyday germs. I wore my mask during COVID and I studied a bit of microbiochemistry. I wash my hands when I need to and not in excess. I also work out a fair amount, but my sleep schedule is shit. Also, no kids. Story 33. As someone who used to get the cold and or flu multiple times a year, and since COVID maybe once a year, I have narrowed it down to a few things. Obviously no kids, but I never was around them, even when I did get sick a lot, so maybe not as big of a factor. Overall stopped going out as much and decreased being around large crowds since COVID. Not because I'm afraid of viruses, but simply just fell out of the habit of socializing that much. My theory is this is the biggest factor in suddenly not getting sick as much. Bars slash club slash party scene is equivalent to a school full of children. Most of my sickness came from those hell holes. Managing stress and self-care. This one is huge and the hardest one for me. After all of the above was in place, I would still get sick that one time a year, maybe two. 
It was always due to pushing myself beyond my limits with work and never ending to-do list, neglecting my healthy diet even if it's for a week, and somehow that always aligning with my period, which means major drop in immunity already. Now I have to be mindful of all that and am on a mission to get down to zero days sick in the year. Story 34. A lot of you won't like this answer, but wearing a mask, I have severe asthma and the mildest cold would always turn into a bad chest infection. I caught every bug going, started masking early in the pandemic and haven't been sick once since late 2019. Story 35. My time to shine medium bad hygiene. I mean, I wash my hands before touching people and after going to the toilet, but I strongly adhere to the rule when eating food from strange places and touching things I ought not to be. I also eat a lot of fermented food. Love pickles, kimchi, and sauerkraut. IDK if that counts, but basically I'm a mega city for bacteria. I never get sick, and that's even around sick people. It's a shame because I never get days off work. But I did notice that when I had a remarkably shit job, my immune system did actually plunge. I think this is because even the bacteria didn't want to stay in that environment. Story 36. I'm one of these people that rarely gets sick, and when I do, it tends to last no more than 24 hours. My wife puts it down to the amount of oranges I eat when I feel something coming on, but I also think it relates to being raised as a very outdoorsy kid, always getting filthy and being messy, and not having a problem with eating food that I dropped on the ground. Story 37, low social movement. When I was a teacher, I got sick a lot. Now I am looking for work once again. I am rarely sick. Before teaching, I was rarely sick. It all comes down to how active you are socially and probably how often you deal with children. Story 38, thanks to my parents for allowing me to come in contact with everything I came in contact with from the day I was born back in 1964. As a former outside till the sun went down kind of kid, a wife and mom not tiptoeing around snots and all other bodily functions, a healthcare worker constantly coming in contact with God knows what from God knows who, especially when there wasn't time to glove slash mask slash gown up and just a plain old people and animal hugging human being living in the city, traveling, etc., etc., etc. I was never afraid to get my hands dirty and breathe life in. I built up a pretty impressive immunity. Even during COVID, I got the equivalent of the sniffles in a temp that lasted an afternoon. I never got the vax. I don't get the flu shot. I don't get the flu. Maybe genetics play a part, but generally speaking, it starts from the time we're born. And the less you expose your child and bubble wrap them, the less chance you give their immune system to fully develop. Story 39, zinc tablets at the first sign of any illness. For example, unexplained sneezes, etc. Zinc is critical in our immune system. So if you don't have enough of that, you're screwed from the start. In addition, to get into the details, if you have too much zinc, you'll get diarrhea. So it's really easy to tell if you've had too much or, indeed, if your body can take more. Story 40. I am an old guy and have lung damage from an infection. So my wife and I have been wearing masks in public for the last four plus years to avoid COVID. I haven't had COVID or a cold or flu for the last four years. I worked with kids before retiring and was getting some disease every couple months. So this has been a wonderful side benefit. Story 41. My go-to strategy for the last 16 years has been to avoid people, avoid children especially, use hand sanitizer after opening a door in any public area, pumping gas, getting change, etc., and to make my own meals rather than eat at restaurants to ensure everything is properly cleaned and cooked. Also helps that keep an air purifier in my office that I regularly clean the filters. On average, I'll get sick once, maybe twice a year, and it's always a sinus infection. Story 42. Same as everyone else. Lifestyle, daily exercise, eight hours sleep, mostly healthy diet, avoid stress. Prevention, avoid touching face when out, wash hands routinely, disinfect phone and glasses once a day. Extra measures I take because I'm on immunosuppressants. Wear a face mask if I'm in doctor's waiting room where one would expect sick people. Be aware of people sniffling, coughing, and sneezing, and avoid them cover my face or avoid breathing if I need to walk in the area where they just sneezed or coughed without covering their mouth. People learn nothing from COVID. Avoid small children. Have outside clothes, inside clothes, and shower when I get home. I'm sick maybe once or twice a year, while others on the same medication are sick once a month-ish. Story 43. Mate, I like the way you replied to each person. I saw a 70-plus yo lady in ER, and it was the first time she ever got sick. That was COVID. She was upset that she couldn't make it to her shift at a bar. She never got sick in her life and did not even have a chip on her teeth. Some people just get the good genes. Story 44. It's probably genetic. I eat well and exercise regularly, up to date with the regular shots and flu shots, wash my hands often, especially since I work at a hospital. Even so, I think that a lot of it is genetic. I have a fairly good immune system. Every few years, I do get sick. 
but it's manageable. Story 45. I honestly don't know. I'm badly overweight, don't eat well, and get about five, six hours sleep, but I never get ill. Maybe one cold a year and I work in retail, so I handle a lot of cash. Last time I was really ill, aside from getting COVID, would have been 2016 when I had a viral throat infection and conjunctivitis at the same time. Story 46. IDK if it's genetics. I was a dirty child. I worked in a hospital as a cleaner right out of high school for a bit. I assume having built up an immune system is helpful. Honestly, I'm generally healthy, a bit on the chubby side, but live an active life and eat nutrient-rich foods. I don't sleep well, though. A good night's sleep for me is seven hours, and I really try to hit that mark, but I usually get five and a half, six most nights, which is an improvement. When my sleep was really bad, I would feel like I was on the verge of getting sick, but a good night's rest would always solve that feeling. I think it's honestly just the luck of the draw. I know people that are physically more healthy than me take very good care of themselves, but have autoimmune issues. Not everyone is playing from the same deck, you know? Story 47. I don't know if I actually rarely get sick, but I have severe ADHD, and when I'm sick or injured, I simply forget about it. Don't care enough to let it affect me. I don't have a suck-it-up mentality or anything like that. It's just that I can't physically be still and rest, so I simply go about my day and forget the symptoms are even there. I'm also just bad at keeping track of slash noticing changes in my body or realizing that they might be due to illness. For example, if my nose is running and I'm having to blow it a lot, I don't think, oh, I must have a cold. It's just random, isolated instances of needing to blow my nose in my brain. Story 48. Nothing spectacularly different. Regular exercise and good sleep. I also drink way, way less than in my 20s, but I don't know if that means anything. I will also say that the flu shot has absolutely done what it means to do for me. Since I started getting it, life has just been much less frequently interrupted by flu or any illness. Story 49. Nothing spectacularly different. Regular exercise and good sleep. I also drink way, way less than in my 20s, but I don't know if that means anything. I will also say that the flu shot has absolutely done what it means to do for me. Since I started getting it, life has just been much less frequently interrupted by flu or any illness. Story 50. Honestly, I think I have a good immunity because I don't go crazy with the hand sanitizer. I eat stuff that falls on the floor. That isn't visibly gross. I'm not worried about best before dates. In my humble experience, it's the ones that go so overboard with the germs that get sick all the time. Story 51. Before kids, being antisocial and clean my workspace at the end of every day really helped in an office environment during the sick season. I also wash my hands a lot. Don't touch my face if possible. I don't wear makeup, so no touch-ups or anything tempting me beyond hair getting in my face or glasses slipping down my nose. And hand sanitizer in the car for after shopping or going out. After kids, I just do my best and pray to the toddler gods to at least make it a mild case this week. Story 52. The only secret to not getting sick is avoiding people who are sick. I've only been sick from a bug once in the last nine years or so. Because one time a long time ago, I got sick and developed post-viral illness. The post-viral illness got worse over the years, and I've been mostly homebound or homebound since 2014. People who think they got some secret figured out that isn't germ avoidance are simply lucky. That's all it is. Story 53. Honestly, I don't know. I don't take care of myself at all and rarely get sick. I had COVID over three years ago, and that's the last time I ever got sick. And before that, I don't know how many years it was when I was last sick. Maybe like five years before that. I don't really know or remember. LOA. Story 54. I get seven. Eight hours of sleep a night. I eat healthy about 80% of the time. I never snack on processed shit. My unhealthy food is either burgers, pizza, or wings. I exercise regularly, three, four times a week, along with two, three-mile walks regularly. I get 10 minutes of sunlight on my face, in my eyes, every single morning, more important than most people realize. I take only cold showers. I also don't really wash my hands ever unless I poop. I probably have good genes as my dad is the same way. My only kryptonite is I definitely drink a little too much. That being said, I haven't gotten sick in about three years. Side note, I get maybe two headaches a year. It's one of my biggest flexes, honestly. Story 55. When I was a kid, I ate ants, tree bark, sand, and other random outdoor items. Not to mention expired candies, yogurt, just by a week or so, hard cheese, etc. I also spent a significant amount of time in and out of hospitals for injuring myself via sports, fight, play with my brother, and just being an idiot boy. I feel that because of this, my body has developed the antibodies necessary to fight anything it can throw my way and has also given me the cast iron stomach that can probably digest lava. Story 56. Ride your bike every day, preferably to work, school, and for shopping, etc. I know it's not possible everywhere. 
but it's the single biggest life hack of them all. Saves a ton of money, gets you in shape, and if you do it all year round, it absolutely prevents you from getting sick. You'll expose yourself to the elements rather than sharing germs on a subway or getting fat in a car. Story 57. Good Genetics most of my family members also rarely get sick. When I was in high school, I got an award for never taking a sick day the entire four years of high school. To date, I've never gotten COVID. It's been more than a decade since I got the flu. I don't do anything special with regards to diet or lifestyle choices. In fact, I drink and smoke. LOL. I'm just lucky. Story 58, when I feel like it might happen or when I've been around people with, for example, the flu, I will make sure to double down on healthy decisions. Every meal has to be rich in vitamins. And instead of only going for a run, I will top it off by cycling for two hours minimum. I will do this for a week and then I might have a cheat meal or only go for a run. Story 59. I drink the highest quality double IPAs, rarely work out, and frequently go to concerts. My body is both inhospitable to standard viruses and also potentially immune due to frequent exposure. That's my half-baked theory. But I haven't gotten actually sick, cold, flu, COVID in my adult life. I'm 40 and live in New York. Story 60. My kids' immune systems have finally kicked in and they don't sneeze in my face anymore. I drink a bunch of water, but also coffee and hot tea, and probably more beer than doctors would deem acceptable. Lots of veggies, lean proteins. I don't love carbs, but I'm not scared of them. I'm at a higher weight than is healthy, but can also run a few miles, so, yeah. Mostly my kids don't sneeze in my face anymore. Story 61. Well, I'm very fortunate in this matter. I'd say primarily because I work from home and don't leave the house very much, and thus I'm not around a lot of people daily. My wife does all the shopping for us. God love her heart. I wash my hands multiple times a day and use hand sanitizer. If I do go out of the house, I wear a mask. I have MS and take immunosuppressants. Story 62. Anytime I leave the house for work or to go shopping, etc., the first thing I do when I return home is take a full shower. Don't go out of the house and get covered in germs and then come home and throw yourself on the couch. Decontaminate first. That includes brushing my teeth. I work out and eat lots of veggies and take a good multivitamin and vitamin C supplement every day. I also drink one cup of kefir daily to maintain a good gut microbiome. I have trained myself over the years to never put my fingers in my mouth or touch my face unless absolutely necessary. I get sick maybe once or twice a decade, usually from a coworker infecting my workspace. I am the only employee in my workplace of 20 plus people who has managed to avoid getting COVID for the entire five years of its existence. Though, one of my filth pig co-workers did infect me with RSA. Still steaming about that. In short, being a lifelong germaphobe with fairly sever OCD has served me well in terms of almost never getting sick. It has not served me well in terms of avoiding the weird looks I get when I tell people all of the routines I have to keep myself from getting ill. Story 63. It's not a secret, it's a state of mind. Feeling like dog shit doesn't mean you're sick. It means you ate something bad or drank too much or didn't get enough sleep. The amount of people who don't feel 100% and automatically say I'm sick is crazy. Your rent doesn't give two shits if you got a sore throat or diarrhea. You go to work. Also, avoiding actually getting sick requires you to move your body. A sedentary lifestyle leads to your body not having to work and your immune system decides it's break time. Story 64. Don't eat trash and remove sugar-loaded foods from your diet, including soda and fruit drinks. Drink water and eat meat and veggies. I might get sick every three years, give or take. I also do know have kids who bring germs and viruses from school. If I do get sick, I attribute it to work stress lowering my immune system and only happens during the winter months. When stress is high, I'm a middle-aged laborer. Story 65. We keep hand sanitizer in our car. Without fail, we sanitize our hands every single time we get back in our car. When my kids were younger and touched everything as toddlers do, I kept it in my purse diaper bag. Our family knows to cover their mouth when they cough, sneeze, and to wash their hands. We now homeschool, and kids have not got sick once since we started. They still play with their friends from public school after the school day is over, have extracurriculars with other children and parents present. So it's not a total lack of exposure. When our kids first started public school, we were sick for almost two years straight. Then COVID happened and we tightened up our sanitation practices. Kids went back to public school and didn't bring home as many illnesses. BC, they were taught how to be mindful of bacterial and viral spread. Story 66 Jalapenos. My great grandma lived to 107 and when I was sick as a college kid, she told me to make myself some soup, whatever I wanted, but homemade soup and add fresh cut jalapenos. I was then instructed to eat jalapenos as regularly as I could and definitely fresh ones when I'm sick. I'm sick maybe once a year, and it's usually three days max. And when I'm sick, I eat fresh jalapenos, and it always helps. Story 67. Work in a lab. 
so I have infection risk management practices ingrained in me. Wash my hands frequently and properly. Have everything in my fridge and pantry dated and rotated. Practice good hygiene, so shower daily. Only wear clean clothes. Brush my teeth twice a day. Keep things clean. No kids. Don't even eat that well or exercise frequently, but just from doing basic things right, I am very rarely sick. Story 68. I used to think I don't really get sick. Turns out it's all stopping at my adenoids and tonsils. So many people, especially my age, I had their tonsils removed, and many also had their adenoids removed. Now, I do get a sinus headache maybe twice a year. It's been explained to me that that's probably just whatever's going around, like influenza or whatever, but it's stopping at my adenoids and or tonsils. Story 69. I'm not 100% sure, but I wonder if it's a combination of good genes and lifestyle. I sometimes catch the occasional cold, but I can shake the symptoms off within one, two days. I work in a hospital setting and have been exposed to many infections, but never caught anything. Had a patient who was unexpectedly had tuberculosis before COVID, so no mask. I wasn't vaccinated. It's very uncommon where I live, so it's not mandatory for us to have. And I was exposed to him for hours. Only caught COVID for the first time this year, despite working with COVID patients since 2020. I do try my best to exercise on my days off and cook home-cooked food. I find home-cooked food generally makes me feel better, even if I stir-fry food. I don't always sleep amazingly well, shift work, and I usually average five, six hours. Story 70, primarily genes, I imagine. My brothers don't really get sick either. We also played outside pretty often as children with other kids, so I'm guessing we were exposed to all kinds of stuff that toughened our immune systems. I still spend a decent amount of time outdoors, sometimes just walking the dog, or even doing unhealthy things like drinking beers with friends. I've read that being in the sun and fresh air is good for mental and physical health. Story 71. No kids, great sleep, low stress job, lots of walking and weight training, and a strict elimination diet because I have an intolerance to everything. No caffeine, alcohol, gluten, dairy, peanuts, seed oils, sugar, or artificial sweeteners, white potatoes, oats, rice, beans. I basically just eat meat, fish, non-starchy vegetables, fruit, and tree nuts. Very boring diet, and I don't get invited to a lot of dinner parties, but I can't remember the last time I was sick, and I'm constantly in contact with people through work, school, and public transport. Story 72. So for me, the secret is immunoglobulin. I was sick all the time until I got tetanus while my tetanus shot was only two years old, indicating a problem. Many tests later, they tell me, hey, your body doesn't make B cells or C cells. I offer to eat some batteries, but they said I get to have immunoglobulin infusions every three weeks. Before that, I was never not sick. Since then, I rarely get sick. Story 73. Well, there's the time I drank holy water directly out of the hand basin at church. Four spur of the moment piety reasons. Water, which literally hundreds of people had touched and which is not regularly changed. I think I prestige classed my immunity that day. I'm pretty sure it's the reason I didn't get COVID till almost 2024. It needed a few variants to combat whatever TF antibodies I have. Story 74, I used to bite my nails and would be sick all the time. Because of COVID, I don't bite my nails, eat with my hands, or lick my fingers anymore. I keep my hands out of my mouth, nose, eyes, and ears. If I have to eat with my hands like wings, I will wash my hands right before I eat. I don't touch the door handle, my seat, menus, my phone, my beverage glass, nothing, until I'm done and wash my hands again. I haven't been sick since my first COVID diagnosis. Everyone I know that gets sick, I ask if they lick their fingers, bite their nails, etc. And it's always the same answer, yes. When I suggest what I do, they laugh and end up sick again. Story 75 genetics and lots of vitamins, non-processed foods. Also don't have kids, but still didn't get sick when I worked around them. Working at the front desk of a dental office probably helped to handling all those filthy charts. Nobody ever washed them and the dentist would just come and hand them to us with their dirty gloves that had just been in someone's mouth. Story 76, all right, hear me out. Due to IBD, I had to have my entire large bowel removed. I have had this theory for a while. I have not done any research whatsoever. I have even discussed with many doctors, partner is a DR, meet a lot of them, and they all scoff at me. My theory is that the large bowel requires a lot of white blood cell soldiers to constantly fight off illness, bacteria, etc. Since I don't require that kind of support down there, I feel like I have an abundance of soldiers to fight off sickness. I barely ever get sick, and when I do, it's quite mild. COVID for me was just the sniffles for a day or so. None of this is substantiated by evidence or research by me because I just like to believe my silly theory. Haha. Uh -huh. Story 77. I very rarely get sick. Maybe once every couple years. I don't really have a secret LOL. I'm just lucky from what I can tell. 
The only things that differentiate me from most of my friends and coworkers that I can see are that I don't drink alcohol and I have a physically intense job. With that said, I have drank alcohol in the past, quite a bit when I was younger, actually, LOL. And I have put on a couple pounds here and there over the years and lost it again over the years. But I never really got sick much. I think I'm just kind of lucky, to be honest. Story 78. Eat healthy, drink lots of water, work out, and stay relatively hygienic. Also, get your vaccines. No tinfoil hat, please. I say relatively hygienic BC. I'm 99% sure there's evidence that exposing yourself to the outside world, especially at a young age, helps boost the immune system. Now I'm not going to get off the subway and eat an apple with my unwashed hands, but I also won't shy away from a backcountry camping trip or occasionally touching my sandwich with my unwashed hands to readjust it in its wrapper. But YMV, I think I always had a relatively strong immune system, even though my fam didn't. Am I adopted? Story 79. Maintain a good mentality. Sound like quack doctor, but it's true. Your mental state reflect what your body need, satisfy it, and your body is healthy. Have a variety in your meal. Drink water and exercise. Even if you contract a disease, you would fare much better than those don't. This also can work in reverse, albeit in extreme case like depression, heartbreak, or trauma. If that happens, good lifestyle can only help, but your body will ultimately suffer the effect of your mind. Story 80. Don't touch my eyes, mouth, or nose unless I absolutely have to, unless I've cleaned my hands first. Wash my hands throughout the day. Use sanitizer when I get in the car after going in a store. Wash hands again when I get them home from being out, always before eating. Be mindful of touching menus, serving handles, those type of things before eating. If someone is coughing or sneezing, I stay at least three feet away. Take vitamins, drink plenty of water, and get plenty of sleep. Story 81. I sleep enough and take naps, LOL, and I work with kids. I also take vitamins daily, which I 10 out of 10 recommend. I also travel for work one time per month, totaling four flights. Airports and planes are gross. The vitamins have saved me. I also don't work out and don't eat healthy LOL. I currently take 1,000 milligrams vitamin C B complex D3. And I take airborne when I remember before or after a long travel day. Story 82. Genetics will always play a key role, but also I have a job where I get dirty a lot. Obviously, we should all have a common sense approach and healthy respect for pathogens and good hygiene. But fixating on sterility to a point bordering on obsession can actually be counterproductive for one's immune system. If you want to be stronger, you have to train. If you want to be smarter, you have to expose your mind to novel, challenging subjects. The immune system is no different. Got to give it something to do or it starts lacking. Story 83. I have always been someone that very rarely gets sick, and then I'm usually over it in half or less time than everyone else. I don't do anything to make it happen. Vitamins, dietary supplements, voodoo magic, frog legs in a boiling pot except for parties. For some people, not getting sick often is just their normal immune system. For others, getting sick routinely is how their immune system functions. Story 84. I homeschool my kids so they don't breathe in the toxic sprays they use to clean schools. We do not eat processed food or anything with high fructose corn syrup, vegetable oils. With the exception of a vacation once or twice a year, we eat all meals that are fully prepared at home. We live in high temp climate and do not use AC. Story 85. I guess it's because I don't go out much, but I also work directly with people who do get sick. They have kids, for example. So catching something shouldn't be out of the question. Honestly, I don't know. In the few cases I actually do get sick through, I'm out of commission. I assume it's because I'm not used to getting sick once or twice a year like most people, but I just can't handle it. I don't exercise or have the best diet either, though I'm also single, live alone, and obviously don't have kids. Story 86. I maybe get a headache once a year, flu and other stuff maybe every three, four years. I have had RSV once and I thought I was going to die. My secret, don't tell anyone, is I just live life. I don't wash my hands unless they are visibly dirty or I go to the bathroom. I've always done this and I believe that we're all made up of a biome we have a hand in creating that helps us survive in this environment. Story 87. Honestly, I guess good genetics. I don't eat the healthiest, but I also don't eat the worst. Normally get five, six hours of sleep on work nights. I wash my hands for the usual reasons, bathroom, dirty work, etc. But I also bite my fingernails. No kids and rarely around kids, so I guess that helps. I'll occasionally get a stuffy or runny nose, but I think that's mainly allergies. And the occasional cough, but never stay at home sick.